Hello everybody and welcome to Amber's Cooking Corner. Today we're making meatballs and what better to go with meatballs than a glass of vino. So let's get started. Okay, so what I have um, is I just use ground beef in mine and this is about two pounds of 85% ground beef. I use garlic powder, parsley, salt, pepper, plain breadcrumbs. You can use seasoned if you wanted to. I have plain today. And I have fresh grated um, Pecorino or mono cheese. Also, whatever kind of cheese you like in there too. So, for two pounds of meat, I'll use two eggs. One egg per pound. So, just get the eggs in there. Okay. And then we'll just put some seasonings in for the cheese. However much you like, I kind of eyeball it and throw a nice little handful in there. Um, same for the breadcrumbs. I usually use about a couple palmfuls. You might need more as you're rolling because you want it to be kind of wet but stuck together at the same time. Salt, I just kind of go over the top here. Put a good amount in there. And pepper, garlic powder. No one in my family likes chunks of garlic in their meatballs, neither do I. So I just use garlic powder, a good amount of it. And I use dried parsley for this. Kind of crush it up between my hands, get it in there. And then get in there with your hands. I start just mixing it up. Get those eggs broken. Okay, you wanna mix this up really good. Get everything well combined. And you can see how the meat is coming together. That um, we have, we probably need a little bit more breadcrumb because I like it a little bready too. And I learned a new trick that said if you add a little bit of warm water, maybe like a quarter of a cup or something. Um, it makes your meatballs more tender. So we're gonna get the warm water going and uh, I'm gonna give that a try with you guys first and I'll let you know how that works out. So let's get the warm water back on. I've got a measuring cup here. I'm gonna do just about that fourth of a cup Put that in with a little more breadcrumb over the top. And then I have a piece of tin foil right here. But once I get that all well mixed, I'm gonna start rolling. So the water's in here, breadcrumb now. So I'm just gonna mix it up one more last time. Get everything really, really mixed in there. turn my oven my, or my um, I'm going to turn it up to about medium high I have some vegetable oil in this pan getting ready to heat up I'll let you know what that looks like once it's ready to get those meatballs in there you want your meat to kind of be at room temperature you don't want it to come right out of the fridge you want it out and let it sit a little bit so this is the consistency where it all is together and nothing is around the sides of the bowl okay so we'll get that I usually get enough to kind of fit in my palm and kind of roll it up. And then I'll just put it down here and I'll just keep going. Okay, and I'll be right back and show you what those look like before we get it in the oil, all right? So I rolled all of my meatballs. I have about 20 here. The oil should look like this when you know it's ready. You can see little ripples in the oil there, kind of letting you know that it's hot enough and then this is the sound you're going to want to hear when you put your meatballs in. That's what you're going to want to hear. So then I'll just take these. I'm going to put them all around the pan. We might have to do a couple of batches because you want to have them um, an inch or so apart while they're in here and give them some room to groove. So I'm just going to drop these in. Okay. 
probably fit one more in there. So while that's going, it's probably going to go about three or four minutes on each side. You want it to be nice and golden before you turn it. And you'll just rotate them until they're all the same color all the way around. Um, if you're making a pot of sauce or something with this, you can continue the cooking process inside of the sauce. Um, or if you just want to cook them all the way through, which is what I'm going to do today, because I usually make more than what I need, so I can freeze them and just pull them out of the freezer on a weeknight meal, a uh, weeknight where I just want to have macaroni and meatballs and not have to waste time uh, frying them up. So if you're going to do a batch, double it. We'll see you back in a minute. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're beautifully golden on all sides. <clears throat> And I'm just going to put them right next to this one here. I put them on a lined cookie sheet with paper towel just to get some, off some of that excess oil. So we're going to take those out and just put them right here to rest a little bit. We'll see how long they last with my son around. This, and then I'll cut one open so you can see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so we'll put those in. Get the rest going now. I should have mentioned to you before I started this out on medium high heat, and then I dropped. Whoop, then I dropped it down to medium, just because the oil you don't want to have a big mess and have it splattering everywhere. So, a lot of people think because you're frying, you need to stay on high. And that's not the case because you'll cook the outside a lot more than the inside. And you kind of want it to cook together, but you want it to be golden like this. So, I'm going to cut into one for you. And that's what it looks like inside. Nice. You can see how juicy it is in there. See how it tastes. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. It's good stuff. Okay, we'll fry these up and we'll be right back. Okay, all the meatballs are fried up. I had a little side sauce that I made the night before heated up. Put it on some meatballs, a little grated cheese. Give it a try. a thumbs up that's really good if you guys want to know how to make a nice um, sauce leave a comment below make sure you hit subscribe tap the bell and everybody enjoy their day ciao